Hi there, Mouseketeers! Kate or Princess Minnie here, and if you're a returning friend, then hi, welcome back! I can't wait to share my Disney store, mainly, it's a little bit Target, uh, haul that I have for you today. And if you are a new friend, then please hit that subscribe button and stick around for future awesome Disney content. I do want to give a quick shout out to two of my YouTuber and real life friends today because I just went shopping with them, um, some outlets in New Jersey. They both live in Jersey, I'm in Philadelphia. We all had to kind of drive ways to meet up and we met up at the Disney outlet in Jackson New Jersey so big thank you to my friend Katie from over the Mooney and Melissa from pixie dust and pins you guys are true Mouseketeers I love you to pieces and I can't wait for our next shopping adventure but I can't wait to show you my haul from the Disney store and yes I had to buy this big bag because I have a bunch of them but I always forget to take them <laughs> before we get into the items from the Disney outlet which they do have like some current merch there, but they do have a lot of clearance merch, which is great. But before I show you that stuff, I want to show you two things I recently acquired from Target that I am completely and utterly obsessed with. So first, I was able to pick up the three-pack of the Chrome Hitchhiking Ghosts. I totally needed this in my life. Uh, we're big Haunted Mansion fans in this house. John isn't like that into the Hitchhiking Ghosts. We more are into like Master Gracie. We love the bride's room especially, uh, the ballroom scene, the graveyard scene. But it's always cool to have a ghost follow you home. So we are thrilled to be the owners of this and I can't wait to put it up in my Halloween background very soon. They do have other pops of Haunted Mansion figures, but to be honest, I just wasn't that into most of them. Um, so this was my priority. I would like to pick up The Bride at some point. Last time I checked on Box Lunch, she was sold out, but I am going to keep checking because I do know they've been like kind of getting waves of stock of the Haunted Mansion figures. So I'm going to keep trying for The Bride, but if not, I'm happy I have these three guys. The other thing I got at Target was this awesome sweatshirt. I love that it's like retro without being too old school. And let me tell you, this is the coziest fabric ever. It's so warm. I have been wearing it around the house with like our air conditioning turned up. Um, it's still too warm to really wear this, but I still try to because it's just so cute. And I think this was like around 20 bucks, and I've already gotten $20 worth out of it. You guys have already seen this if you watch a few of my recent videos, but I did want to let you know that it's from Target and you should go and get it for yourself immediately. So now let's actually break into this big bag here. They had a lot of great deals, and so I'm going to start with something that I actually tried on as a joke, um, but the girls both said, no, that's actually legitimately cute, and you should get it. So I did, and it is this Tinkerbell-inspired hat. It's so cute. I just thought with the poof on top, it was going to be, like, too silly, but I think it's the perfect amount of silly. So it says the original top knot, and it's just Tinkerbell colors. It's it's so, so lovely, and the best part, it was on sale for five dollars. Five dollars! And I'm planning on meeting Tinkerbell again when we go in November, so I'll have to make sure to pack this with me. I wore these amazing Sorcerer Mickey ears that my friend Melissa made me, um, but I do want to wear this for the rest of the video. I mean, choices, choices, both are phenomenal. Oh, I love this so much. It's so darling. And I don't often wear hats. I don't know if I've ever worn a hat to the Disney park. Um, usually I just use them at home, so this will be a really cool little photo prop as well. Next, I had to get this pair of Darkwing Duck socks. First of all, <laughs> Darkwing Duck is awesome, but 
these socks were three dollars I said to the girls for three dollars it would be a crime not to get these socks and then so when I brought these home and showed John he was obsessed with them immediately but the best part is and we both freaked out about this the socks have capes on the back can you see this they have his cape. I, I'm dead. I'm dying. As soon as I'm done filming today, these are going on my feet. I can't wait to wear these. They had this gorgeous Disneyland D shirt. I think this is like called baseball tee style or something where it has the different like the differently colored sleeves um this was only seven dollars oh my god i am obsessed with this it's so lightweight it's still very weather appropriate um for where we are and it just has such cute designs inside of the d also i had to get this And I mean that cute little Mickey Mouse in the back looking up at you, so darling. I really made out like a bandit of th with things to wear at uh, this shopping trip because I also got this pair of like sweatpants. They're super cute. I don't know like if there's if they're themed like in any way because there is something like on the back of these that makes me feel like maybe there's something I'm missing. But they're just really cute. They're blue and white striped lounge pants I think would be great for just like the house or travel or working out. And they have this love decal going down the side and of course the O in love is made up not just of Mickey's head but the Mickey head is actually made up individually of tiny little hearts. It's so darling. And then on the back, which I'll show you a close-up, it's like a little postcard which is making me think I'm missing something. But it's, it's just a cute little detail and these were only 12 bucks I almost was like I wish they were like ten dollars and then really was I not gonna buy these for two extra dollars clearly not Okay, so for these next two things, I'm going to talk a little bit lower because John's in the house and I don't want him to hear what I have to say because these next two things are Christmas gifts for him. The first one is a shirt. So look, we've really made out well with clothing today. And Katie found this and she was like, would John like this? And I was like, oh, yeah, he would love that. So it is a Haunted Mansion inspired shirt and it's exactly what John's Haunted Mansion tattoo is of. Um, minus some, some purple roses he added, but it's beautiful. So yeah, John has that saying on a tombstone as a tattoo, and this was only $9. Like, I mean, I can really afford to keep spoiling him if I keep getting him gifts at that price. <laughs> this next item is also for John. So last year I bought him at Hot Topic this Nightmare Before Christmas Sherpa fleece blanket. And I thought like, oh, he'll, you know, he'll like it. I'll get some use out of it. It turned out to be his favorite Christmas gift. He still uses it like every single day since Christmas. It's been like, the, it was like the best $40 I ever spent. And so I was like, I need to find another Sherpa fleece blanket for this year. And I think it's going to be like a tradition every year he'll get one. And we spotted this one and it's really cool. It's so soft and it's Lion King themed and John has always loved the Lion King. It could only be better if it was Scar themed, but you know, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll accept it. <laughs> So I'm not gonna undo it, I'll just keep it like this till Christmas, but you kind of get like the vibe there. And I can't find the tag on this, but I believe this was like 30 bucks. I think that is going to be, again, one of his favorite gifts of the year. 
The next thing that I got is this little ceramic trinket dish that's inspired by the teacups ride in Disneyland, and it's just so cute. And John was like, what are you going to do with that? And I was like, decor? Display? You know? Um, and it was only five bucks. Originally it was 13, which I think is a little on the pricier end for this, but five? Okay. <laughs> um, and so I do have like a couple of teacup themed items, like the Funko Pop that was released with Alice spinning in the teacups. So I thought this would look great in that cubby. And uh, I've seen a few of my friends get this from sub boxes, so I was so excited to see it pop up at the outlets for a reduced price because I have really wanted it. But I usually don't put Alice on my my sub box preferences list just because I don't want like all the Alice merch that's out there so this was so exciting to find. And the last two items in this haul were both gifts from my friend Melissa. I was so stunned. Um, now, one of them I kind of asked for, but in, in a way that, you know, was not too presumptuous and greedy. <laughs> Melissa always makes fun of me because she'll try to buy me something like for Christmas or for my birthday, and then she'll see it turn up in one of my haul videos. Oops. And she's always like, Kate, stop buying everything for yourself. Sorry, Melissa. So um, when I saw this one thing, I, I loudly throughout the store was like, you know, this is something I really like, <laughs> but I won't buy it for myself in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> And so she got it for me, but she didn't keep it for like our vlogmas swap. She decided to give it to me today and I was so excited. And it's this adorable little Lotso plush. Like this tag is, is almost as big as himself. And I have the medium size Lotso plush. It's my favorite plush. And yes, this one totally smells like strawberries. Oh my god, it's so nice. And I just thought, she even let me pick out the one that I wanted. <laughs> and he was just like the roly poliest one. Like he did not get squished or flattened or anything. And I am just completely dying over how much I love him so much. So thank you again, Melissa. And then um, she also picked up for both Katie and I these Toy Story 4 build your own forky fridge magnets. So I will definitely be doing that, put that on the fridge. And uh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. I am just so thrilled with all the things I was able to get at the, the outlet. Really, I, because you also get a 10% discount with your Disney Visa card, I think I got all of that stuff, uh, minus the Target things, of course. I think I got, I think it was like $67. I feel like I got way more value than that. Um, so if you have a Disney outlet anywhere near you, definitely go check that out. I sometimes get like, try, get into the cycle of going there like every couple weekends. I haven't gone for a while, so I hope this doesn't like, restart that but if it does it does I can't wait for the Christmas merch to come out that's going to be my downfall there are only a couple like ornaments and small things there at the time but oh my goodness gracious I can spend some money on Christmas ornaments so friends thank you so much for watching let me know what you liked from this haul down in the comments below and I'll see you real soon